Hi Aquarius, this is your behind the scenes reading for October 2022. Universal Energies, show me what I need to see for the star sign of Aquarius for October 2022. Universal Energies, show me what I need to see for the star sign of Aquarius for October 2022 universal energies show me what i need to see for the star sign of aquarius for october 2022 show me you guys subscribe like comment and share these videos if this does not resonate with you, check your moon, rising, and Venus sign videos. I do not read reversals. If you're interested in a private reading, you can reach me at herimmortalmajesty at gmail.com. So, Aquarius. Aquarius, these are your cards, honey. So, Aquarius, you have the Three of Wands, Aries, Leo, or Sag. This is you waiting, waiting for your ships to come in, waiting for what you set your intentions towards to manifest. Now, this is also a card of you looking to see what else is out there, looking to expand. So, Aquarius, you can tell me you're waiting. You can tell me your ships are here. You can tell me that you're looking to see what else is out there, looking to expand or even travel. Clarify the Three of Wands for Aquarius. Clarify the three of wands for Aquarius. Clarify the three of wands for Aquarius. It is clarified with the nine of wands. Aries, Leo, or Sag. This is you being guarded and standing your ground. You have a stance. You meant what you said. You said what you meant. You're not willing to bend, concede, meet halfway, eye to eye, or anything. But this is also a card of you saying, you know what? I'm tired. I'm wounded. I'm down for the count. But I still have a little fight in me left. I'm not giving up. Being persistent. But this is also a card of you having your walls up, your guards up. You're not trusting. A little suspicious, a little paranoid here. So Aquarius, listen, you can tell me that your guard is all the way up. You don't trust. You can tell me you're guarding something here. You can tell me that you're going to be persistent or you're standing your ground. So Aquarius, listen, you very well could be persistent on some type of travel here. You can tell me that, hey, you simply don't trust. Your guard is up and maybe you're looking to see what else is out there. You could be highly suspicious that they were looking to see what else is out there. Okay, you could also be guarding the fact that your ships are here. Maybe you don't want anybody to know. Listen, Aquarius, you have the Ace of Cups. Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is a brand new beginning in love. A brand new beginning in a deep emotional connection. This is love overflowing. A brand new blessing. A brand new beginning in love. So Aquarius, new love, new start to love, or a blessing. Clarify the Ace of Cups for Aquarius. Clarify the Ace of Cups. For Aquarius, clarify the Ace of Cups. For Aquarius, it is clarified with the Four of Swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, this is you taking a break, resting, recovering, meditating, praying, recharging your crystals. So Aquarius, listen, you can tell me that you guys are on a break. You can tell me that you're trying to recover or you're meditating on something here. Now listen, you can tell me you guys are on a break over some blessing here money assets resources property maybe you were expecting something here you can tell me you're on a break because they had new love you can tell me that you're meditating on having new love because maybe you're looking to see what else is out there you're tired of their shit <laughs> uh-huh aquarius maybe you know maybe you just want to rest okay with this blessing here maybe some type of travel here okay and you're standing your ground concerning it aquarius you have the chariots could be dealing with a cancer, but you're determined to move forward confidently, victoriously, successfully ahead. And this can speak to travel. This can speak to relocating cities, states, countries. This can speak to moving from one residence to another or simply moving forward and leaving things behind. But you're determined to move forward confidently. So Aquarius, listen, could be dealing with a cancer, but you're wanting to make some type of move here. Clarify the chariot. For Aquarius, clarify the chariots. 
for Aquarius. Clarify the chariot for Aquarius. It is clarified with the seven of pentacles. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is you waiting. And in this wait, you're pausing to reflect on you guys' relationship. You're looking at the seeds that were planted. Looking at what has taken root, what has grown, and what it has produced thus far. Trying to figure out whether or not you want to continue to invest. Whether you want to reinvest. You're taking stock of you guys' relationship. Assessing you guys' relationship. But this is also a card of you looking at your coins, your harvest, your bank account. Looking at how much you have and how much much you have to invest could be waiting on money so Aquarius listen you can tell me you're waiting yes you can tell me that you're looking at your coins looking at your bank account here you can tell me that you're waiting contemplating and debating on whether or not you care to continue to invest or reinvest in this relationship now Aquarius listen you could be telling me that you know you're wanting to move forward here because your coins are here, your ships are here, okay? Maybe you're wanting to make some type of move. You're meditating on some type of blessing here. So maybe you're ready to make some type of move because your coins are here, your ships are here. However, you can tell me that <clears throat> you're waiting, contemplating, and debating on whether or not you care to continue to invest and reinvest in this relationship before you make some type of move. Could also be these coins for travel, like I said, like some type of travel. Aquarius, you have the nine of wands again. So Aquarius, listen, you can tell me that you don't trust something here. You can tell me that you're guarding something. You can tell me that you're going to be persistent or you're standing your ground. Clarify the nine of wands for Aquarius. Clarify the nine of wands for Aquarius. Clarify the nine of wands for Aquarius. For Aquarius. It is clarified with the Eight of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is mastering your craft, perfecting your skills, trades, and abilities. This is you throwing yourself into your work. But this can also speak to you being willing to work on it or put in the work. So Aquarius, listen, this could all be work or business here, okay? But it could also be about maybe you're wanting to work on things, willing to put in the work here. You know, I feel like maybe you're kind of hesitant on working things out. I feel like you want to wait. You want to think about your next move. But Aquarius could also be some type of battle going on with work or business and some type of travel here. Aquarius, you have the Page of Cups, Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is news or a message about a deep emotional connection. These are love messages or news of love. But this could also be the news about what love produce because there's a fish in this cup. So love messages and an apology. So Aquarius, you could be receiving love messages and an apology. Very well could be that you're sending out love messages and an apology. You can tell me that we found love messages and heard the news of someone sharing love or some news about what love produced because pages are children and there's a fish in this cup. Clarify the page of cups for Aquarius. Clarify the page of cups for Aquarius. Clarify the page of cups for Aquarius. It is clarified with the moon. Could be dealing with a Pisces, but the moon symbolizes secrets or things that are not yet known. It can symbolize moodiness, depression, vivid dreams, deep emotions, intuition, but secrets. So Aquarius, could be dealing with a Pisces, but you can tell me that you're in the dark concerning something. You can tell me you're using your intuition or there's a secret. Clarify the moon for Aquarius. Clarify the moon. For Aquarius, clarify the moon. <clears throat> For Aquarius, it is clarified with the Page of Cups again. So like I said, you could be receiving love messages. You could be sending out love messages. Very well could be that we found love messages and heard the news of someone sharing love or some news about what love produced. Clarify the Page of Cups. For Aquarius, clarify the Page of Cups. For Aquarius, clarify the Page of Cups. For Aquarius, it is clarified with the two of pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is juggling. Now, this could be juggling two ideas. Should I, shouldn't I? Will I, won't I? This could be you managing many things at once, weighing up the pros and the cons, or juggling two relationships. So listen, Aquarius, you can tell me that you're weighing things up trying to decide should you, shouldn't you. You can tell me that there was juggling taking place here. Now, Aquarius, it very well could be an element of the unknown, maybe using your intuition, because it could be some good news coming in here, and you're weighing things up trying to decide. And it could be work or business or some type of travel attached to it, okay? 
However, Aquarius, you can tell me that there was some type of secret in this relationship. We filed love messages and heard the news of someone sharing love, juggling. But I feel like you want to wait before you make some type of move here. <laughs> and I really can't place the blame because, yes, you can tell me you're on a break because they had new love. They were juggling. But you yourself may be guarding the fact that you were looking to see what else is out there, that you have new love. And this is what you're meditating on here. So you don't know if you want to work it out with your partner, but you may also have something new lined up here. Aquarius, this is your behind the scenes reading for October 2022. You guys give me feedback, subscribe, like, comment, and share. And I'll see you guys next week. Peace.